Bad news, you guys. Ryder. Ah, oh, Ryder. Uh, shh. Yeah, he's vomiting again. I woke up this morning and he was vomiting. And I'm um, guessing again, because it's exactly the same as every other time. Uh, metal poisoning. He's ingested some metal somehow. Uh, toxic metal. And, hmm, uh, took him up to the vets this morning. Well, I got my sister to take him to the vets. <sighs> um, it's, it can't be the cage. It can't be the cage. They always say it's not the cage. It can't be the cage because a lot of birds chew on their bars. A lot of ch birds chip off the powder coating, the paint. A lot of birds have rusty cages and they never get sick. Uh, there's no way to prove what's causing it, where it's coming from. Uh, the new cage I gave him, that new cage I gave him because he has a bad leg. Uh, on the inside of these bars, it's all been chipped away. You can't see it from here. I may add a video at the end, but all these bars, and I know he was chipping at that, and all that powder coat on the inside of these bars has been chewed off and chipped away. Uh, they say that can't be the problem because birds do that all the time and never had a problem. Maybe it's just him. Maybe he's the only one that's being affected by it because he, he, <laughs> he is a very sensitive bird. Maybe other birds don't chew it, eat it, swallow it. Uh, maybe he's the only bird that is swallowing that stuff. I guess I'm just, if he comes back, if he survives, I'll just put him back in his old cage. I'll clean that out and keep it to the way it The only problem is... I've ordered another four of those big cages so everyone could have one the same. A nice short cage but really wide, a lot wider than the ones they have now. So it seems like they'll have a lot more room to play in. And those cages are on the way. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I guess I'll just keep him in, in his normal cage. Uh, <laughs> and... One day, <laughs> uh, if he's not here, I can use those big cages for the other birds. This is ridiculous, Sky. We can't keep doing this. And you know what the thing is? Before I even adopted him, his previous owners had the same problem. Uh, he was taken to the vets with metal ingestion. Do you think it was his cage there as well? I mean, he stopped doing it to his normal cage. You know, I used to weave this stuff here to stop him chewing on the bars on the inside. He doesn't do that here anymore. Maybe because he's used to this cage. Maybe he's not used to this cage. Once he is used to it, maybe he won't do it as often. Well, I can even see it on the inside of this. Look, let me see if I can show you guys this. See that? that bit there so he's done that to all the bars on this side yeah you can see how it's chipped off <sighs> what are we gonna do what are we gonna do <sighs> it's so expensive <laughs> that little boy uh, what is it now? Nearly three thousand, about four thousand dollars worth of vet bills for that little man. Because I did take him to the vet with his sore leg, and there was no injury or anything that we could see. It could be just uh, nerves being pinched. They have a sciatic nerve that runs through their kidneys and through the, to their leg or something along those lines. Uh, so it's probably not fixable. And it's very quiet in the bird room. Very quiet without the little man. Oh. Urgh. Hmm. What can you do? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just don't want to be by myself. I just want you guys there with me. stainless steel cage I mean even if I don't get all the other birds a stainless steel cage I'll get him the stainless steel cage that way 
at least he'll be safe. If he's the only one that's having this problem, he can have a stainless steel cage. I mean, those are really tall as well, but whatever. Maybe we'll get him that. But if he comes home, he's going to go back to his old cage. And we'll just treat his pain the way we can. If I have to, I can put a big flat platform about here somewhere. So the cage is only that high. <laughs> or that high. So he can't jump down too far. He doesn't have to climb up and down too much. I know he loves to play with the sticks, but he can do that if there's a platform inside. All right, well, it'll probably be another week before he comes back. So we'll see you then. Any clues, any help, any advice, let me know.